Hi, welcome to automation testing that in in this video we are going to discuss about Selenium WebDriver exceptions. Selenium WebDriver exceptions will discuss about what kind of exceptions we will get in Selenium WebDriver while executing the automation scripts. An exception is an infallible statement. It will always tell you why something has gone wrong in the code. It may not always be easy to understand the exception, but it does always tell the information what about uh, about the what went wrong in the code. Means exception is a kind of what you say something wrong in your code, kind of error. And uh, in this uh, video, we will see what kind of exceptions will frequently get in Selenium, and we'll see what it is. Uh, Oh, and briefly, we will discuss all these things in detail in the coming videos. In this only, we will see what kind of exceptions and when we'll get all these exceptions. How to overcome all those things, we'll see in the coming videos. And exception is a kind of error in your program and it will tell you that what is the uh, wrong in your code. One of the good things in Selenium is while looking into the exception, we will come to know that what went wrong in the uh, code by using into the by looking at the exceptions name means the name will be very clear that what went wrong will come to know by looking into that exception you see below are the very frequent exceptions we'll see while uh, automating your applications one is like uh, no such element exception no such frame exception no such window exception element not visible exception stale element reference exception invalid element state exception, unreachable browser exception, and a session not found exception. These are very frequently happening, occurring exceptions in your automation. Okay, now we will see all these exceptions briefly that why we'll get no such element exception, why we'll get no such frame exception, why we'll get all these exceptions. Okay. Now, no such element exception. This is the most and frequently facing exception. You will definitely find this kind of exception while automating the application. The reason for this exception is the element you are trying to find does not exist. Means uh, no such element exception will, will frequently see uh, while automating any application. The reason for this is you, you find an element on the application to interact with it. Means you will say driver dot find element by dot whether whatever it may be the locator x path, id, name, etc. But the element, the locator which you are finding, which you are using is does not existing on the application. It will not find any element using that locator on the application. Then you will find no such element exception. Okay. And no such frame exception. This is also most frequent uh, facing exception. In modern applications, people are using iframes very frequently. Iframe is kind of web element. If you want to show some ex uh, external information into your web page, okay, then you'll use iframes. When you try to find an iframe on the application, if it is not available on the application, it is not exist on the application, then it will throw no such frame exception. Okay. No such window exception. This is also very similar to the uh, previous exception that is no such window ex uh, frame exception. A window is a browser in uh, opened by the web driver means when you say web driver driver is called new Firefox driver it will open Firefox driver that is also one of the window. You will have some child windows means if you click somewhere on the uh, browser it will open some other browser. Okay then that is, it will open some other browser, another browser that is also, uh, we'll say, uh, window in Selenium. Okay, when you try to find any one of these browsers or windows, if it is not available, then it will throw no such window exception. Okay, element not visible exception means this is also most and very frequent facing exception. This element not visible exception tells you that the web element that you are trying to interact with is not visible to the user. Means you are trying, we are trying to find an element that is not visible on the application, then it will throw element not visible exception. Stale element reference exception. This is an exception that uh, you will uh, quite often see that if you have uh, Ajax kind of in, uh, stuff in your web page or heavy JavaScript in your web page. 
where the dom is continually being changed okay dom means uh, what you say the html written for the uh, page then that is called dom and the element is no longer attached to the dom is the element which, which you are trying to find is not available in the dom okay then you will find stale element reference exception invalid element state exception this exception you cannot find very frequently when you try to interact with any element then an unexpected pop up will come but we are not sure why it is and what it is an invalid element state exception is thrown when the web element that you are trying to interact which is not in a state that would allow you to perform the action that you would like to perform means <coughs> sometimes uh, when you trying to do something on a web element some pop ups will come and we are not sure that why it has come that time the the element exactly what you are trying to interact it is not available means uh, the pop up will uh, hide that one means it will not break the interaction with that element then you will find that invalid element state exception okay an unreachable browser exception sometimes you will face this type of exception as we know that selenium sends commands to the browser to execute and get the response back okay selenium will sends command to the browser and it will perform something on that it will give the response back but sometimes we will not get the response from the browser for due to various reasons then we will get this unreachable browser exception okay session not found exception you will not get this kind of exception very frequently very often uh, not not often uh, very rarely you will get this kind of exception but while you are executing your test and something will go wrong and will lose the connection with the browser okay you are doing some something under the browser suddenly you will not get the you will break the communication with the browser okay then you will find session not found exception okay these are the uh, very frequent you know will face while automating any application there are the exceptions you will face uh, in this video we just have seen that why the exceptions will come uh, don't worry we will discuss all these things in detail in the coming videos okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel